Good morning, Christian friends. This is the Plum Line. I'm Dr. Jesse Hood. And today's segment is sponsored by Doug Boyd Foundation.org. Yes, Doug Boyd is a great man of, of God and and the service of his country, Lieutenant Colonel, first black mayor of Nightdale, has started the Doug Board Foundation, Incorporated. It's such a great foundation. He helps youth uh, with scholarships. And through your support, he has given $2,500 in scholarships uh, for kids during the pandemic. The Doug Board Foundation Incorporated. It's a, it's a, his mission is to help young, young people uh, get scholarships for, for college. Underprivileged, ones that need help. So it's a great foundation. Support Doug Board Foundation. Dot org, Doug Boyd Foundation Incorporated helps youngsters uh, pave a pathway, pave a way for for college, college scholarships. He's given over seventy five thousand five hundred dollars in scholarships over the years. So support support Doug Boyd, Colonel Doug Boyd Foundation dot org. He thrive on support from the community because he worked so hard to give scholarships for the for young people, deserving young people with uh, ac- academia, high quality. Yes, so give Doug Boyd, pull him up on the internet, DougBoardFoundation.org. He's doing so much for our community and support young people that are underprivileged but with high expectation in academia. Yes. So that's DougBoardFoundation.org. Thank you very much. This is the Plum Line. I'm Dr. Jesse Hood. Support, support DougBoard.org. Doug Board Incorpor- Foundation Incorporated. Yes. And... We're glad to be with you today on this segment of The Plum Line. I'm Dr. Jesse Hood. And we're going to talk today about unity, being together. Today's scripture is Psalm 131, Psalms 133 and 1. Psalms 133 and 1. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. Yes. So, we're going to be united in unity. Make one combined. Relating or produced by joint action. A united effort. Being in agreement. A united front. Christian friends, walking in agreement is the strongest implication the world can or will ever see. Just imagine the world coming together in peace and harmony. We should agree that Jesus Christ is Lord. Having a world pledging together in sync to love one another. There wouldn't be no more trade embargoes. No more restrictions on people coming and going. No DMZs. A world caring for starving babies. They should be a united front to get clean drinking water. Greed of all and takeovers would decrease. Imagine the world in that symphonic and harmonic nature. Hallelujah. Would there ever be such a utopia? Wow, that's a word from the past. Even when people tried that utopia thing, sickness broke out in the camp. Epidemics like AIDS serviced up. We have to be grounded, rooted in God and to doing what's right. Bible-based, led, the word 
fed in a united front of holy word. Principles teaching, having faith, believing that God is the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ incarnate, who He sent to unify the world, the whole world, that we walk, live, talk in, in a united front of holiness, where all denominations will be holy and unshakable, where we stick like glue together under the umbrella of the Holy Spirit. God is going to unite us in his mysterious time, in his majestic way, immaculate wisdom, power, and dominion. If any front that came up against him, they would be scattered. Psalm 68 says, I say, let God arise, let his enemies be scattered. Let those who hate him also flee before him. My brothers and sisters, black, white, red, yellow, brown, and all walks creed, wherever, wherever we must live and love as Christ loved us so we can see his might. God created the heavens and the earth that we walk in unison. Love thy neighbor as thyself. Live together and love one another. Christian friends, I'm here to tell you, we must have empathy for each other. A heart like thine. We can't be divided and expect God to be pleased. Our nation is divided right now, but we're going we're gonna to get it together. We're going to come together. We can't be divided and, and expect God to, 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 to like that. 1 Corinthians 1 and 10 says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and in that there would be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Ephesians 4, 11 and 13 says, So Christ gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors, the teachers, to equip his people with the works of service, so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach the unity in the faith and the knowledge in the Son of God and became mature attaining to the measure of the fullness of Christ. We must walk in the fullness, Christian friends of Christ, for a united front in Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. The Son of the living God, who, who you died on the cross for all of us and united us in his will, his, his heart, his whole passion. So we have to start within our own thews. We have to start in our own menus. While every muscle, every tendon, every marrow of bones joints, every blood trait of our own DNA melts our metabolism, flow through the carotid arteries, flowing through the jugular veins, giving oxygen to our brain cells, computed a whole paradoxical shift, hallelujah, over this body, this human body. God had his son to be on to be the suffering servant for us. We got to keep the faith. We must never lose hope. And when we get our frame, our Christian temple together, we won't stop until we get the whole world crying, Abba Father, Abba Father. I won't stop till the whole world crying, Jesus, 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 Christ, united. We have united as one, united as one. Because Jesus Christ died on the cross for all of us at the skull of God got us here. Hallelujah. Praise his holy name. Jesus Christ, the one and only one who died for our sins. Hallelujah. He died for our sins. That we be united. That we be united. We won't have an a, a open hand. We'll have a closed fist of united. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for dying on the cross and united all of us because you died on the cross for our sins. Let us be united as one. Hallelujah. This is the plumb line, Dr. Jesse Hood. So let's be united. Amen.